signed up for another thing, which is a streaming channel that uh, uses blockchain technology. Yeah, it's, uh, uses blockchain technology to wake up. Post something. This love is real. I signed up to this thing called music. Wake up. But basically, because the sun is shining. No. Everybody, this what? is Splint. What is going on? This is Jay. And this is Smoker's Journey episode. <laughs> First of all, get the title right. A smoke what? A stoner's journey. A stoner's journey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not stoned yet. Yeah, his brain so is smoker's journey. At 100 yeah, percent I apologize. He doesn't have the climate change. Noise. Climate change. <laughs> how have you guys been? Yeah, how are you guys handling all this change in the world? I, we saw that there was at least almost 400 people that saw us on the sixth episode so we are Ooh, thank you guys thank you it's humbled. such an honor to have so yeah. many listeners people that actually want to hear what we have to say it's amazing it's amazing that we didn't think that we get that much traffic not so quickly at least at i least. thought it was going to take a couple of months but, uh -huh. you know, but we're now we have some people out there that are we're listening. now on thank episode you. seven thank and you. we're averaging at least 350 views per episode at the moment um as we keep on growing we'll be making it bigger uh, thank you for the people who've been su submitting comments you, for everybody. us on the forums Asking and questions. Uh, sharing our stuff. We really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, we're happy. We're happy to be here. We're happy that we're providing content for you guys that you guys enjoy. You know? That you could actually listen to and relate to in a way. Exactly. So uh, today we did get another uh, forum question from who? Jane Smoker, I from think. From Jane, Jane Smoker, Smoker. And her question was what? Can I over if you could overdose on marijuana? What do you need to do? You understand? Yeah, that is type it, of is it possible to OD? On is weed? it possible? And if so, what, what do, you do you do when you're tripping on too many when it brownies? gets too much? <laughs> exactly. Today, uh, before we jump into the topic, we are going to be waxing. We're going to do the Miyagi wax style. on, wax off, Cobra Kai wax uh, approach. <laughs> And um, we are doing our, our good old shatter. We got some good shatter that we got here. And uh, trusty Dabitron. Ooh, oh, cool. so fresh and so clean. The, yeah, I cleaned out the Dabitron. Uh, one day we will talk about cleaning bongs and how to yeah, do all that how to stuff. Do all treating your, your vaporizers. How to and... maintain your equipment, yeah. you know, because being a professional stoner, as we are. You, you got to have the good shit. You got to have the good equipment. So anyway, Dabitron is loaded up with a dab. I'm going to start it off, even though it is a splint's turn to uh, start it yeah, off. Some, yeah. um, the second hit of the Dabitron is usually the stronger one. So we're giving mm. him the strong Strong hit, and I'll just start us off. Because I'm supposed to start it. Also, he wants me messed up first. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So the light is on, on. And, and we're just waiting for the countdown for it to turn green. Once it's green, it's clean as a whistle, except for the chamber. I did leave the chamber kind of dirty, but a little bit of you know flavor after cleaning. But, like uh, it's gonna take a little while for me to clean that out because the chamber is surrounded by glass. But this Dabitron amazingly has, has lasted us a long time. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to invest in a vapor a vape pen, Here whatever utility, and it better be the best. Okay, Jandre is putting the wax in and he's taking it. Ah, Jay is going for it, ladies and gentlemen, and he's lighting it up. He's adding the wax, and now we wait, and there he starts to inhale, and I'm watching the cloud disappear, and let's wait for it. <laughs> the donkey kick! And he goes for the second one. Just clear the Smooth. chamber. Smooth. Right. it out. <laughs> So when you're ready, <coughs> oh shit! <laughs> when you're ready, good um, words. To I'm hear. gonna also take the third hit just because because the first hit's the weaker hit, the second hit's the most potent one, and the third one is is the takeoff. But if you can see in the chamber, it's already starting to cloud up. Um, oh, I'm gonna be so. Stupid this, by the way, we call it the Dabatron, but it is actually the Pulse Heart Hand E Nail. Yeah, we it's a really nice, neat little device, uh, rechargeable. All right, go. It's it's green as go. And there he goes. Let's do this over here. Let's put up a little bit more of this in there. Why not? And uh, there you go. 
He's got himself. He's still going. It's still green. It's still hitting time. And it's good. Splint has finished this. By the way, just so everybody, because my my real name is Jandre. I apologize. Just for everyone. I didn't but, name him, though. But uh, and as part of Smoking Joker, we use uh, little nicknames. People also call me Jay. Uh, Splint's just used to calling me Jandre all the time. Mm. <laughs> so um, that's that. <coughs> Second hit was delivered successfully into the <coughs> thing. So we're doing two rounds. It's going to be two I, hits each. I, <coughs> oh. <coughs> Donkey punch. There we go. <coughs> See, Splint... splint uh, there's actually a tear coming out of my exactly, eye. Exactly, exactly. This is emotional. He's emotional, he's crying. You know, what so can beautiful. You do? Why do people want to be normal? Why don't you just stay high? Life is beautiful, man. Why you just see well, the colors? I think, I think being high all the time gets kind of redundant. Uh, depends on the way you look at it. You get your ter certain kinds of high, you know, you got your inspirational highs, you got your let loose energetic highs. So, you know, it's like, Choose well. You gotta choose what you want to do. It's like putting on your whatever shoes. Ooh, Jay is just giving up. The third hit caused the big, big cloud, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know. I didn't know Jay was into weather forecasting and stuff. You know, creating clouds. It's climate change. <laughs> climate change. Yeah, let's blame it on climate change. I did that earlier. Right? It's like, how are you people on climate change? Oh, are we on climate change? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, that's the problem with whack. It's because it gets down deep into your lungs. Oh, yes. And you might yes. survive the first instinctual, like, the instinct to cough. Oh, but I'm eventually gonna... it gets you. And here comes Splint for his last. Oh, that one's tough. Rub it up, rub it up, rub it up, and then and then puff it up, man. That's what I'm saying. There we go. There we go. Oh, my God. <coughs> <coughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, go. Okay, enough of us getting high. I hope everybody else is stoked up by now. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't done it, please catch up. Please, you have to be in the spirit of Or, or of the pause thing this, and go back to when we start and smoke with us, because that's the whole point. Yeah, the you gotta point, be in the same mindset when you listen to stuff. The whole point like of this. us starting with this, uh, with a toke, is to show that. We can remain coherent. That that, that we, there's a train of thought that is being followed. Even you know? though even though we might be high as shit, it doesn't mean that we lose who we are, and that's an important thing because with alcohol, if you drink too much alcohol, I was gonna make the same point. Uh, you lose who you are. You become someone else. You adopt a other persona, and that persona leaves with the alcohol. MDMA, or at and least in my case, bag. with me and MDMA, like ecstasy. Uh, in my case, that shit changes my personality. Like, you have no idea. I don't like that, uh, I've personally. I've unfortunately never touched ecstasy or other kinds of uh, drugs. It, but. It, it helps for some people, but not for me. It's not my thing. Weed is clear-minded. It keeps me in the, in the loop, so... Yeah, it helps to uh, enrich. It helps to bring out so much better in you. You've never... You can never meet a person... Well, uh, just... I'm speculating. I've met a lot of people that smoke, but at the end of the day, there are more people that are happy when they smoke than when they are drunk, you understand? When yeah, they drunk, drunk can bring reason. a... It, it, it re reduces your ability to reason. Actually, it takes everything away from you, yeah, literally. I've your... met some people that have made bad judgments in a moment of, of weakness when they were very, very, like, contaminated. They were, uh, they were so drunk, they woke up in prison. I'm just saying that. Yeah, no, you, you, you never get so high that you wake up with a chick, you're like, oh my god. Like, weed goggles don't exist. Nah, there's no, there's no, well, let's just say there's no side negative effect, you understand? Yeah, you're, you're not, you A side effect that's negative. You won't whatever. alter the, well, there are. There, side effects, okay, that's, happy, that's, hungry, that's, sleepy, yeah, that's let's it. Let's talk about side effects. If we are talking about side effects, let's talk about overdose, and let's get into the question. Ah, okay. The question from Stoner Jane, what's her name? Ja, Jane, uh, Jane, Jane Smoker. Smoker. Jane Smoker. So Jane Smoker said, can you OD on weed? And if so, what happens? And here's the truth. The truth. Here's the truth. Everybody it's... listen up, quiet down, and let me tell you. Yes, you can overdose on weed. Yes. But... It's not an overdose that kills it's you. It's not a lethal overdose. Exactly. That's the difference. See, they tried to do, and this is, this is where it comes. This is where the science comes in. There's a thing called LD50. The LD50 uh, rating or level or scale or whatever you want to call it 
is a system that people assign to certain drugs where half of the test animals died. That's the thing. Test animals. So, so test you. animals or whatever. So was not test uh, let's, say, let's, let's say they take a whole bunch of lab rats and they take heroin and then they're gonna keep on giving up increased doses of heroin over those rats until the point where half of them dies from a lethal overdose. That's called LD50, the lethal dose of when 50% of the animals there we died. Go. So they have the LD50 for tobacco, for all these different substances, cocaine, etc., etc. When it came to weed, the LD50 is set between 1 and 20,000 or 1 and 40,000. What does that mean? That means that for you to suffer a fatal overdose on weed, you would need to smoke roughly 1,500 pounds of weed Dude. within 15 minutes. Ah, uh, that is, ladies and gentlemen, impossible. There's no do. way. I know a lot Your of stoners. I, I know you a lot of stoners point, are, are sitting off. back there. Then they're like, challenge accepted. <laughs> you know, go to town, try to kill yourself with weed. It ain't gonna happen. Mm, Guinness Book of Records will not accept that in any case. Exactly. But now that we've made the distinction between a lethal overdose and an overdose, that what's what's an overdose? An overdose is you've consumed too much, too much that of your, something that your body could actually handle yeah. chemically. Chemically, basically. like you, 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 there's too much chemical yeah. inside of you. There's too much THC inside of you. It's like the buzz you get if you're a drinker. It's like okay, you drink one, two, three beers and a shot of tequila. Now you're feeling a little buzz. If you don't start drinking water, the alcohol chemi chemical will react with the heat, and you'd actually start feeling. Yeah, but the, the blood, blood alcohol so the balance goes out up, that's yeah. the overdose starting to overdose and when you're yakking at the toilet you overdosed on alcohol you yeah. don't have a lethal overdose but exactly but your body is reacting to it in a way by trying to save it or shut down and, and now that that's we, where a now when we put overdose into the context of what it really is is you had too much weed so can you have too much weed obviously <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Been there, <laughs> I mean, done that. Everybody that's eaten brownies, everybody that's done that. One too much brownie can put you, you in the hospital, man. Yeah, well, if you're an idiot, you'll go to the hospital. If you're smart, that's what we're going to be telling you about yeah. what to do. So, yes, yes, you can have an overdose on weed. Both but we don't suggest it. We, we both, don't. Well, it's really hard to get there. The only yeah. real way you can get it, it has to be like an extreme an overdose experience. is if you're like dabbing like a crazy motherfucker. You know, oh, we'll Splint, get to that. Splint and I sat here. We just took two hits. We're nice and baked, but we're good. You know, we're yeah, not... we know our limits. We know what <laughs> we can do. We know we we're, we're not we're not we're not um, we we've been in this for a while. Yeah. So yeah, we, we know the dosage. We know okay. I know when my body tells me it's enough. Too much. Yeah. Okay, you need to calm down. Put that pipe down and relax. Cruise so, control. The point is, uh, we'll, we'll 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 tell you guys about our um, experiences and what we did. But the first thing you need to understand is that I don't remember exact the exact science, but there is a number which technically classifies as an overdose of weed where there's more of the weed in your system than you can handle it. You can process at the same time. Now, what happens when you OD on weed? Now, what's conversely? Since weed has no, uh, it doesn't control the respiratory system. It doesn't okay. control your, those type of things. That's why people normally die when they overdose on drugs is because it shuts down the respiratory system and they die. Like, weed doesn't have that same effect. You, you can eat a thousand pounds of weed and you will not... That won't happen. You won't stop breathing. You'll always breathe. You shit like crazy because you have a lot of fight yeah. in your system, but otherwise, you'd be fine. You might be scared. You might be thinking you're dying, but you're not gonna die. So the first thing you need to understand about weed is, A, it's impossible to have a lethal overdose. And you said, you eat too much, you might wind up in the hospital. If you go to the hospital because you ate too much fucking weed, you're an idiot. Exactly. Do not go to the hospital. Do not you know, go to the hospital. You know, there are people out there who have done that crap. The only thing that you do by going to the hospital is A, taint the weed, the, the name of weed. Mm -hmm, you're making you're people. Dumbass. Yeah, you're becoming a statistic. And, and B, you're costing yourself and everybody else money that is unnecessary to do that so when you have a slightly high when the weed has a slightly high effect you, on you when you OD on hospital weed. is not where you go yeah, you don't want to do that it, okay so let's get this out you cannot die of weed no. unless you smoke a certain amount in 15 minutes which like literally pounds is impossible so get this out of your head there's no dying from smoking weed unless yeah. you fucking but 
as mentioned, Crazy. it doesn't mean that you won't suffer the consequences. Exactly. You know, like you get a hiding, but just from the weed. So what happens? What what will happen when you OD on weed? Number one, you'd first get really high and you'd be okay with it. And it'll probably take you about an hour to two hours before you start noticing, oh shit. It's changing. It's, it's, not, it's not going down. It's just going up. And then usually that happens when, when you do edibles. It really doesn't happen so much when you smoke weed because smoking weed is um, almost instant. So you know how to judge. It yeah. takes you about 10, 15 minutes max and if it's really good weed a minute and you're feeling the effects of weed you know when to modulate your consumption you know you know when to stop basically yeah. your body tells you your brain but tells with, you with edibles it's a slow release so what happens is somebody eats a brownie oh, yeah. and they're like i'm not feeling it so they eat two more uh-huh. and then I they still don't, don't feel, feel it, nothing then they eat give, another, me, give another. me two more and then suddenly by our like you know one and a half hours into the, in the, the eating Suddenly, all of that shit starts hitting at the same time. And then the corner kissing the. And the then wall. remember, it takes a little while for your stomach to digest it. So if yeah. you wait wait an hour and it didn't hit you and you ate another one, it's going to take another hour for the second one to kick in. So while it's a continuous one, chain reaction while that's happening exactly. in your body. And so your you're chemicals okay. are being exploded and exploded, and every time your body's recovering from the first punch and then it has to go into a exactly. second defense and also, position considering that uh metabolized like when you eat weed it changes the molecular structure and that shit is supposed to be 10 times higher exactly like more potent than more THC. Potent the action in the, the smoking yeah, normal smoking. weed so you're sitting there you ate your brown and suddenly you start realizing oh shit you just swallowed a couple of grenades yeah you're like oh shit timing. i'm sitting here you're high maybe you're like really really body high you'll definitely feel really body high maybe you'll have a little bit of uh problems breathing but that's not because your respiratory system that's just because you're freaking out mm -hmm. so you're when the body goes into panic <clears throat> adrenaline and you start because so you're you getting start... the fight to flight yeah, fight exactly, to flight exactly. instinct you're losing control yeah but ladies and gentlemen you need to maintain control because mm. it's it's not a big no, thing I, I, yeah. in fact i would actually correct you on that one i okay. would say for my experience for your okay, experience okay. but i would i will tell ah, okay. you why because uh, let's first go through the symptoms and i'll tell you why trying to maintain control is not the best approach okay i'll well I'll rephrase later but but we'll but we'll both tell about our experiences because yeah. this is from my experience um but perhaps if something works different for you now <clears throat> the first thing that you need to do is you need to realize what's going to happen to you. So the first uh, thing is you'll probably get really high, your eyes will get sleepy, you'll get yawny, you'll start yawning from the beginning. That's like signs of, oh shit, you took a little bit too much when you start yawning for no reason. No, you, our experiences you, have been different. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's that's like pre-tremor symptoms of ah, you ate too much. You just feel too relaxed. Yeah, you feel like... <gasps> You feel you heavy, look, the gravity is pulling you. take deep breaths and yeah. stuff like that. You can because, feel the gravity yeah, pull on exactly. your body. And that, that gravity pulling on your body will only get more intense. And yeah. eventually you'll you get feel heavier. heavy and... Oh, shit. So what do you do? That's pretty much where you're going to go. Eventually, what could it lead to as well? You could have hallucinations. Oh that's, yeah, it starts true. that way. Like people don't think, know that you can hallucinate on weed. Yes, you can. Um, actually, it's not hallucinations, but it's like memories that you can actually visual. It's like a visual you actually back in a moment. You understand? Well, it's either an illusion. Yeah. So it's a ticket back memory or whatever. Or a hallucination. Now, in weed, you can hallucinate. Mm -hmm. It has happened. I've, uh, not to with me. Well, with me, I've had an hallucinations. I've heard sounds in the roof uh, that wasn't there, that I knew wasn't there, but I heard it. Me too. Uh, that's sort of like it almost feels schizophrenic when you're oh like, no i've had that, that type of, of weed yeah, it's like you, i've had that type of weed yeah. they're coming someone's coming someone's yeah. watching me but that I, type I, of... I heard a drum a kick-ass drum beat in the roof like in my ceiling and i could see where it was originating from me and i could hear it but i knew it wasn't there but i i liked the beat so i just sat through it anyway that's why i love when people uh, name their they weeds and they tell you dude this is what you're gonna go through yeah so anyway the point is um you can hallucinate and it ha it happens quite often when people od on on edibles um they start seeing things it could either be internally in your mind's eye or you uh, see the world but it's, it, it's like. not like acid you know with acid you can see a physical change in the environment and the colors are more vibrant this is more conceptual hallucinations an inner sphere it's a inner fight basically yeah. you have with yourself but it's in your mind's eye uh, so that could happen 
Another thing that could happen um, is you you'd panic. Most people panic. Yeah. And then the reason this is this is where we get into the control factor. The reason they panic is because they can't maintain control. See, uh, I've been doing uh, psychedelics for a good 10 to 15 years. I've been consuming marijuana for about 20. Now, throughout all of these times and all of these hundreds and thousands of trips that I've taken, uh, one thing has been constant in my mind is that I'm taking a substance that I know will revoke control from me. I know that there's going to be elements within my trip that I can't control and I have to be okay with it. See, when I'm okay so one, with it... You have to surrender at first. Exactly. You have to not be resistant towards because it. Because when you fight the feeling, you fight that, that, that gravitational pull on your body, that's when you start going, ah, you yeah. start feeling because it. Because you're losing the fight. When you surrender in quicksand is when you survive quicksand. The yeah. more you fight it, think it's of exactly, it as quicksand. It, it is quicksand. The more you fight it, it just drops you straight and it goes fast and fast and you just, you feel it. And you'll panic. And you die. And you might no, you don't die. <laughs> quicksand, <laughs> quicksand. Okay, I mean, it's a different thing. I, like, I apologize <laughs> for the confusion, Jay. Let's like, get back on point. I was like, no, you don't die. We just. I was making an analogy, sense. and you just well. Yeah, but it's true. The, the quicksand analogy is actually spot on. That is my experience. By it, it is spot on because the more you try to resist that that force, the more you're gonna get sucked into it, and. Uh, the more anxiety you're going to produce because you're not winning. You you're going to produce more adrenaline. You're going to feel more afraid. You're going to yeah. feel the walls closing in, yeah. the ceiling, and, and mm-hmm. everything is just going to be some, so much more crazy than it should be. Yeah. So, so the first thing that I recommend in my personal experience is accept it. You have to. The one time that I had, uh, I, I had too many brownies, maybe two or three times in my life. Uh, so that's where that came from yeah no well that and the fact that i've also you know <laughs> spent weekends uh in the desert eating peyotes and stuff Ooh. like that you know i i understand the state of not being in control and now just to to reiterate i don't do this often i do this maybe once or twice a year i take a journey just but, to get get everything yeah, out a couple of days and i just take a, spirit, a world. spirit world journey for a while and i do some seeking but This is not something that I do all the time, but over the years and over the experiences, I have learned that when you're in these type of states, if you remove your fear of control, Mm -hmm. of losing control, and you just say, okay, you know what? That's the key for the next eight to 10 hours. I know I'm going to be tripping and I'm okay with it and I'm fine with it. Even and, and it's scary. Sure. Instead but, of instead of walking in fear, you participate in the mode. It's, in, it's in removing the ego. The ego believes that it should be in control. The sense of control. The sense yeah. of wanting you, to be if everything. If you surrender the ego to existence and just go with the flow, it goes against your own human nature of maintaining control. So uh, it's a hard lesson to learn. But trust me, if you're ODing on weed, you had too many brownies, you're not going to win the fight. Oh, no. You're that gonna thing is going to take you on a trip that <clears throat> you would not And the more you fight forget. it, the deeper it's going to take you. So uh, if, if you find yourself there and you don't want to trip too hard, go find a quiet place. That's the first step. You have to get yourself away from people. Uh, if you're alone, then you need to at least contact one person to yeah, check in please. on you. Yeah. No, that's not that's not for um, for the fear of you dying or anything. The, the, that is only for you to create a sense of security or a, a key to the reality. Someone yeah, it, comes back and reminds you that you're okay. It's a tether, exactly. Yeah, it's like, tether. hey, you know what? Um, I know somebody's looking out for me. Yeah. So if you're alone at your house and you ate too many brownies, well, uh, that happened to me actually, and I'll, I can talk about that later. But um, let somebody know that you had too many brownies. Just mm. text somebody. Hey, you know what? I had too many brownies. Could you check? Can you call me every now and then? To just, just in case. Just to check in on. To, just to check in on me, and that's it. Uh, that will provide you with the security that you got somebody that's checking in on you. But if you're, let's say, you ate too many brownies at a party, Ooh, there man. you do the opposite. There you have to remove yourself from exactly. the masses. You but similarly, to. tell one person, "Hey, dude, I had too much brownies." Uh, too many brownies so just i'm gonna go over there yeah Um, i'm taking some food and water and stuff like that just come and check in on me every now and then i might be sleeping yeah but just come in and check on me 
the, you don't want people to huddle over you. Too much activity at that moment is going to stimulate too much in you and you're going to really feel the... the, the, the. <clears throat> so separate yourself from the pack, find the dark corner, switch the lights off. Yeah. Lie on a bed if you can. Just isolate yourself because the ride is going to start getting... It's going to get more and more intense. And so breathe. Remember to always breathe. Deep, concentrate. Slow, deep breaths. relaxed breaths. Yeah. That's the have some water to. next to you. Maybe have some munchies next to you. Like Splint said, find yourself a comfortable position. Um, put on your cell phone with some cool, soft, chill music. Or if you don't, just don't. Just have silence. You know, depends on yeah. what's happening around <clears throat> you. It if depends on alone, how, you, how you're processing the situation. If you're alone, if you can, create your perfect space. Like, yeah. ja like Jay said, um, put on some cool music, whatever, you know. You don't have to fear the trip. Just maintain. Just accommodate it. Make just, your... just ride it. Wait for it to go its course. You might learn some truths if you, while you're in there, you will learn, you some, will truth. learn some truths. Yeah. You're, you're, you will learn who you are, your strengths, your weaknesses. Truth will be shown to you. Your so fears, man. It depends on you what you want to see at <clears> the moment. So just relax through the whole thing. It will. The, the funny thing is, ODing on cannabis. It's not like when you drink too much alcohol, your brain, your brain switches off some other part, takes over and you're on auto or whatever and you feel like crap the next day. ODing and you don't remember anything, you understand, you black out basically. Some part of your brain switches off the record and you go into dark mode. So someone else is driving or piloting your body with the, the cannabis OD effect, you are right there. Yeah, you're sitting in the you, middle of you this. You are right there and you remember every moment because you can feel it. You can, the connection to the universe, you can feel the gravity pulling on you. You can, like my experience, I basically could see a line. If I could have shown you, ladies and gentlemen, like my veins would be like lines and little dots and each finger would have little blue dots coming out to each line. Yeah, that's the hallucin hallucination aspect of There cannabis. we go. But the point is with that, the universe opened up to me and I saw what I've never seen before. Nebulas, star systems, galaxies, things I used to love when I was a child, things I used to dream of seeing. And that came back to me yeah. at that moment because I've been through so much that my inner child is scratching at the inside of the door wanting to come out. So that is when that manifested in my um, my experience. Yeah, and the weed pretty much just opened that door. Exactly. So the OD <clears throat> should not, I don't even like that word, but that high experience, that truth well, experience. It's, it's an overdose. You ate too much. Yeah, That's all know. it is. See, I, I, I like to clarify words and meanings. Yeah. Why? Because people's like, hey, you can OD. Well, you can OD on anything. You can OD on anything. Too much of anything is a bad yeah, thing. It's anyway. an overdose. It's more yeah. than you need. That's what it is. There's addiction. a difference between a lethal overdose and people just call it OD. And that's why I like to go and, and take those words and deconstruct them because a lot within the cannabis lingo, in, in essence, is charged with intention. So if somebody uses the word marijuana, there's this negative intention that they've that the prohibition camp is associated with the word. When in reality, marijuana is just a Mexican word for weed that soldiers used back in the day with Pancho Villa. Yeah. You know, and if you understand the history, you can deconstruct the feeling and you don't have to be playing game to the to that. That's the only It's reason. like we've been programmed now, exactly. marijuana, and then you get this dictionary image saying marijuana, adjective, well, da, 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 party, associated with crime, drugs, yeah, and da, da, da. Exactly. So now we've been taught Okay, the dictionary says that is this way and it's so. Nah, go out, find out, educate yourself. Find Don't out believe the, the, the hype. words, man. Yeah. You, can't, you can't base your existence on the interpretation. Look at of what came from the word marijuana, Mary Jane, all these cute little adjectives, all yeah. these little beautiful words. Yeah, exactly. And people still think ma marijuana is bad. Yeah. Nah, education needs to be put that's out the in point. the world. That's the point. That's where with the OD, I like to use the word OD because that's what it is. It's the, just an overdose. It's you had too much. So in the case of you o ODing, um, you found a, a, a dark room. You found yourself, you told one person, hey, you know what, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And then you lay there. How long did it last you? Um, about three hours. Three hours. See, in my case, it took me about 24. 
Dude. But, but to be honest... <laughs> they had the roller coaster. With yeah, the but wine. to be honest, I did have about the same amount of brownies. <laughs> so, so, 24. Yeah. Uh, One for each hour, yeah. some more bitch. It took, it took me a while. Uh, but... And there was some heavy moments in there. Hey, poor but here's the, the, the difference is that I'm okay with not being in control. I don't need to yeah. be in control. I realized... that's Ladies and gentlemen, that's the difference between falling and flying. Yeah. On that trip, you, you hold it all and you try to control so much of you and everything, the overflow, and you start falling. That's not what you yeah. want. Let go... Let the water or whatever take you and let it... You just break. ride it out. Yeah. You're going to ride the wave Float, because you know, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. And it's nothing you can do about it. Uh, you can go to the hospital, like I said, but that's not going to achieve No, it. but in any case, it's a rite of passage. If your body and brain was not um, able to, to, you know, handle all that at that moment, it would not have actually invited you to that. Yeah. So... It's the moment. It's, it's, it's your moment, moment in time to experience that. And it's a psycho it's a it's a small psychedelic experience, um, but it's still a beautiful experience. And it and could it be scary. Be feared, you, listen, actually. listen. There's so many people that, yeah. that has had that experience that quit and smoking weed right after that. Exactly. There are many people that have had that bad bad experience because they've smoked swag or some kind of weed. No, that, even with the edibles. Or, what I'm saying is they've had this intense experience that nobody thinks will happen with and weed. And they fear that they and they weren't prepared for it. That's why we're doing this podcast so that we can we can prepared for some of those people out there um they weren't prepared for it they went in they were faced with their inner demons because that was that that happens you know you they will, go crazy they just scream of, things a lot of, in this. a lot of people uh including my mother who had too many brownies at one oh. time uh <laughs> your mom's cool yeah yeah my, my mother uh what we call mama morrison <laughs> she's 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 this musician, you know. She's she's a granny, but she she likes weed. Oh, she's she's so a cool cool granny. One time she had one too many. She went with a party. And she had one too many brownies, and she could see sort of you know creatures craw crawling out of the the. It was sort of like a nightmarish experience for her. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I was there, but then again, during that part of her life, she was going through nightmarish things. And what happens is when you, see, when you see in any hallucin hallucinatory state, uh, whether you're consuming LSD or uh, have too many brownies, when you see evil, death, uh, creatures, things from hell, you know, coming Anything to get your soul, dark and stuff. that, you have to understand, is you. <laughs> That's not an external creature. That's not a demon not coming from the netherworld. <clears throat> it is you. It is your own inner demons it's your reflections your own darkness and shadows you hold within and you're looking at it and it's scary and because people don't really look at their own evil they only try to see themselves in the brightest of lights but if you want to find the duality of self those oh, I just got a, a message those uh, dualities well, well, of self the dualities of self comes from understanding both your divine nature and your hellish nature. Your yin and your yang, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. It's understanding that and actually finding the balance between those two. Living with so, who you are really as a person, the negatives and the positives. Exactly. And if, as when, Jay's, when cannabis yeah. reveals that to you and you're scared and the demons are coming for you and they're trying to grab you and the ghosts, they're out there, you know, uh, realize it's your own fears. It's realize you. It's, it's your you. truth. It's, it's, your, it's truth. your truth. So deal with it. Don't hide. Face up to your fears, look it in the fucking eye, and be Deal like, dude, okay, what do you have to tell me? Because that's how you're going to grow as a person. That's how the exactly. ego starts diminishing and the real self You comes start up. breaking down the inner wall with <clears throat> yourself. Exactly. One block at a time, dealing with everything, and then you see the... the you were living behind in a city, smoggy place, and then... The answer's on the other side of the wall, but you have to put the you have to hammer go through to the, the wall. wall. You yeah, have to, to go, go through, through it. it. So that means dealing with each problem. Yeah. And that that is actually what makes a human being a human being. We all yeah. go through trials and crap. It's so a metamorphosis. My yourself. life has been like that. I have had to go through dealing with my genetic jealousy, rage problem, um, control issues and things like that, learning to let go. And marijuana has helped me to let go of that this has happened quite a few years ago and it helps you to let go of those demons that's why in my trip i was seeing the universe yeah. i was tearing the, the well, ceiling that's, open that, but that's universe. what happens once you work through the fear 
So once you work through the fear, you can see the wonder. And that's important. You know, I've, I've had times, there was a time that this wasn't weed. This was um, LSD, like a whole bunch of it. And, uh, <laughs> you go big or you go home? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, man, I was a crazy kid. But uh, so one time I was walking and we took like three or four of them. And uh, there were literally snakes falling like water from trees next to me. Now, when somebody in the right state of mind see snakes Mm -hmm. and ghosts in the forest they'd be petrified i mean think about it you're walking through this thing and there's fucking snakes and ghosts and ghouls like and this is at night time too so you know we're walking there in the middle of the mountain and imagination all this stuff going in and we're like heavily dosed on lsd um now two two reactions i could have i could have oh my god all this shit's out to get me or b okay I'm now walking in the spirit plane, and therefore everything is a lesson. But ladies and gentlemen, with <coughs> taking the drug, you should know this should be, <coughs> there is going to be some type of heightening mm-hmm. of some type of imagination or senses. Yeah. So You'll manifest what's inside of you. Yeah, it's, you have to know that you're not crazy. Yeah. That's yeah, and you have the to point. Know, you have to know you're under the influence of something. Yeah, because when you... In an OD state, your body is flooding with pheromones, hormones, your brain is just going crazy. And there's so much that gets lit up. If you actually look at some videos online at a human brain lit up on coke, or whatever on, drugs. But the better ones or, are on mushrooms on, on LSD. Every part of the brain connects and lights up, man. You understand? So like coke only certain parts, but with... Uh, what I'm saying is you can map Simon? the way Ooh. the brain works. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so the point is your brain goes through all of these chemical changes at once you know the floodgates go open and all these emotions are flowing around you happy you sad you angry and stuff like ja- like jay said stand on the black line between yin and yang yeah Except surrender yourself, the duality of self and then start just releasing <clears throat> the being okay as jay said he was in a trip for 24 hours mine yeah. was three hours but I decided to turn it into something positive. I separated myself from the party I was in, found a room, said to the dude, listen, I'm going to just crash in the room. I had a little bit too much. And I told my girl, like, hey, just come in every now and then, just so I can break with a, with a, with a, with a sensation and just connect with the reality. And, and she came in and I said, go, please just go. I know now that I'm not nuts. And I continued on my trip. My body was halfway into the mattress. That's how heavy I felt. Yeah. And to lift my hands, everything was crazy, but beautiful. But in the moments, there was so much. So the point is you need to surrender, give in, float, go with it. It's your trip. It's beautiful if you want it to be. If not, it can be the worst thing you ever go through. And that's dealing with the truth of who you really are. Yeah. So. That, I hope that ha- helped answer the question. I know we sidetracked on many other tangents, but that's just part of the show. That's what we do. Um, the point here is you can OD on weed, but if that happens, just relax. Take just it relax. Easy. Get some water, get some bread, get find something a cool to corner. Care, find a corner. Create your utopia. Write it out. Write it out. Because in my case, I was on there for 24 hours. Uh, many of those hours I was just stone cold sleeping. I was just out. And then I would wake up and similar, my body was lead. I couldn't move. Um, I only crawled to the bathroom to take a piss and then I crawled back to the bed, maybe take a sip of water and lay there. And sometimes I would be awake for hours, not able to open my eyes or anything like that. We won't lie, it's intense, but you know what? It's 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 what you make of it. But I went through that and I, I... the next day when I was out of it, I was like, okay, cool, I'm fine. Uh, and I learned a lot about myself and I learned about my limitations and I learned about all of these things. That's so, why I call mine like the weed Alice, the cannabis LSD trip. Because yeah. what I saw was also, re- well, as, as Jay could specify, is like re- refers more to an LSD trip. Yeah. Now, so um, I think that's where we'll call, we'll call it at that uh, yeah. right now. I think we've sufficiently answered this question this question yeah furthermore we've been going at this for 40 minutes oh so my. if you guys are still here after 40 minutes of us talking God congratulations we, 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 we love you for that so thank you um 
just know this. This is our final thoughts. You can OD on weed. You can do an, any type of moment. You can lose control of your own, your own consciousness out. and all of that. Ride it out. Just that's accept accept fate. Let your ego die. Because that's, that's really the struggle. The struggle, in essence, is ego death. And so, ego will kill you. Yeah. So just go through it. Uh, we hope that we answered this question in detail. And this is an important topic for us. Because yeah. a lot of people go through this and there's a lot of newbies that's going to come in. Yeah, sometimes you take a hit from some friend and it's a hydro and it's your first time. And oh, yeah, we have exactly. stories. We, we have many stories and of you're going to and a, friends. But we'll, that's for we'll, another we'll time. We'll talk so. about some of our stoner, stoner stories some other time. But here we are. Uh, in the end, we are sitting here helping you guys as much as we possibly can. Uh, providing you with insight of experience. We've got over 30 years of combined token experience. So, uh, you know, we're yeah, here. If you have any questions, guys, don't don't be scared. Ask, because if you don't ask, you sit there with a question in the back of your head. And if you make a mistake, you can only blame yourself. Yeah. So just come out, send us your questions. And uh, thank you, Jane, as well. Yeah, thanks. Send Jane. us your questions where she sent us her questions. And... Uh, uh, enjoy it. We'll see you guys on Sunday. On Sunday. This is Thursday when this comes out. Sunday is the next one. This Saturday we're playing. Um, oh, yeah. So we will let you guys know what's up with that. Uh, probably on Sunday. So anyway, you guys have a great one. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks guys for listening. I am Jay. And this is Splint. And this was a Stoner's, Stoner's Journey. Journey. Here no, to separate. take you guys out is another song. 40 minutes. Thank you guys for kicking it with us. Thanks for You guys time. have an excellent, excellent, excellent Thursday excellent afternoon, Thursday afternoon. evening, or whenever you're listening to it. Follow us on all of our social medias. Do all of those things. Yeah, get and, involved. Uh, uh, yeah, reach out. We're, we're around. We'd love to hear from you. Cool. Anyway, this is us. Peace out. Peace out.